Hey, boys and girls, I hope you guys in, uh, enjoyed the story today. I had never heard that story before, um, so I listened to it and I really enjoyed it and thought it was a really good story. So I have a few questions about our story. So in our story, we had Mrs. Marvis, and she was the neighbor that lived nearby um, the kids. And in the story, what happened that made Mrs. Marvis feel better? Do you think the donuts made her feel better? Or do you think being invited to dinner made her feel better? I think they both did, honestly. I think that inviting her to dinner um, was a really nice kind gesture because she was really missing her kids and missing being around people. And then she really enjoyed receiving the donuts from the kids too. So we are gonna talk about acts of kindness and words of kindness. So acts of kindness are what you do to show kindness. And words of kindness are what you say to show kindness. So we're gonna do this activity today. Um, you should have this paper printed off. If you don't, go ahead and pause the video and have someone help you at home get this printed off. The first thing we're gonna do is we are going to color our jelly donut down here. So you can pick two or three of your favorite colors and you can go ahead and decorate your donut however you'd like. Here's Miss Wallace's donut that she colored. I use pink and purple for my donut. So go ahead and pause the video and you can get your donut colored. All right, welcome back. So the next thing we're gonna do is I'm going to read these to you and we're gonna decide if it's words of kindness or acts of kindness. The first one is help people. Is that a word of kindness or act of kindness? Very good at act of kindness. The next one is say thanks. That's a word of kindness. The next one is say hello. That's another word, words of kindness. The next one is listen to people. That would be an act of kindness. The next one is to include others. That would be an act of kindness. The next one is use your manners. That would be an act of kindness. Taking turns. That would also be an act of kindness. Hugging others, that would be an act of kindness. Complimenting people, so that means saying things like, I like the sweater you have on today. Or you can say, I like, um, I like how you are kind to me back. Or I like how you're nice to me. That would be an act of kindness. N using nice words, that would be using words of kindness. Respect. Respect would be an act of kindness, respecting other people. And playing. Playing nicely with others would be an act of kindness. So now what we're gonna do is I want you to pick out six of our favorites here. So I'm gonna reread them to you. And as I'm reading, if you think that that is something that you, you, you either say or you do, or you like it when someone says or does that with you, you can put a check mark next to it. So we're gonna put six check marks next to our um, favorite acts or words of kindness. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut those out and then we're gonna glue them onto our donut. Okay, so helping others is the first one. Saying thanks. Miss Wallace really liked that one, so I'm going to put a check next to it. But you put checks next to which ones you think are important. Saying hello to people. Listening to others. I also liked that one. I'm going to put a check mark next to it. Including others. I also that, thought that was really important, so I'm going to put a check mark next to that one. Using manners. Taking turns. I thought that one was important. So I'm going to put a check mark next to that one. Hugging others. Giving, co giving compliments. Using nice words. Respecting others. I thought that one was important. And playing nicely. So the ones that you put your six check marks next to, what you're going to do now is you're going to get your scissors out. And you're gonna cut out into the rectangles the ones that you pick. So again, we're only putting six on our donut. 
And then what you can do is you can cut out this circle donut. And after you have your six kindness, either words or actions, in your donut, you're gonna take your donut and you're gonna glue those words onto it like this. Okay, so then you'll have your own kindness jelly donut. And this will include the, the words and actions that you think are important to be kind to other people. All right, boys and girls, I hope you guys have fun making your donuts. We will see you later. Bye.